My name is Abdulaziz Mohammed. I'm a human rights defender, an activist, and as well as I mean a research fellow at the Global Detention Project. Our role with the Global Detention Center is to do a research on a migration detention to trace all the migration detention in each country and document the human rights of the individual that detained or in prison in that specific country and also to take a recommendation by some other states during the uh, universal review of each state. And on top of that also we focus more on the uh, human rights committee. They either conduct an interview with the individual that detained or they run a visit. So we rely more on the report. I have one leg in with the, with the legal system and other leg on the other side with the activism. So I'm an advocate of migrants and refugees and in a sense also making sure that their rights are being respected and making sure that actually they can access to a legal system within the country that they are applying for asylum and also make sure that they can engage either with the international community or even with the hosting community. I believe uh, the role of ICOCA could be uh, crucial. One, I can say, in times, if ICOCA could establish more guidelines, training guidelines for the uh, private security companies that they could rely on and they can also use it to train their guard before even taking the contract with the state. There has to be sort of a mechanism. Each private company, they need to have I think any state representative will hold accountable to all the actors who are not actually respecting the human rights of the individual that actually they are detained. So ICOCA can run uh, maybe once a while a visit to the detention centers. ICOCA can also be part of that ombudsman team to interview with migrants or refugees that are detained on the detention center. And the last is also for the ICOCA to do more research on the uh, human rights background of each private security company to establish a database that where the state can access to database and before even hiring that company they can access to their database to see is this company actually uh, respecting the human rights if yes what stage of human rights are they respecting if this company actually have a clean record so the government can hire them if not so they could see the next one I got they could play that crucial role here.